What's up, everybody? So, uh, just got back from the show in White Plains, New York. Uh, it was uh, yesterday. And uh, just doing a recap video. And uh, I went with my dad, uh, who picked up a 1952 Tops Warren Spawn. Uh, it was a 4, but it looks like one of those cards that is much better looking than a 4. Um, and as, I, as I've been preaching to you guys, uh, always buy the card and not the grade. Uh, I also had the, the pleasure, I was actually sitting down, uh, I did a 25 card submission to PSA, and while I was sitting down, I had the pleasure of uh, meeting Mike O, uh, as well as Super 25 Sports Cards. Um, it was uh, awesome meeting those guys. Um, the, apparently, there was some rumor that I wasn't going to the show. I don't, I don't know where that rumor started, uh, but it was awesome meeting both those guys. Um, I realized after meeting them that I, I really need to do a better job of you know letting you guys know if I'm at a show, and because uh, apparently there were a bunch of other guys, a bunch of other YouTubers that were at the show. Uh, that I that I missed out on meeting, but um, next time I'm at the the show in White Plains, I'll I'll be sure to let you guys know, and I I'd, I'd love to meet up with uh, more of the YouTubers. It was definitely uh, really cool to meet Mike O and uh, Super Twenty Five Sports Cards. So thanks guys for uh, taking your time to to talk to me. Um, but uh, so anyway, so to kind of get to the the recap, uh, I'm kind I was. As I was saying, I was uh, I had a 25 card uh, submission to PSA, and uh, I wanted to upgrade some of my cards. So I, I had 25 cards that I brought with me, but I I didn't have any intention of submitting all of them. Uh, I actually had a my plan <laughs> going in was to get a couple of raw vintage cards that I could submit. So I'm walking around the show and I, I particularly had, uh, I was keeping an eye to see if I could find the Frank Robinson rookie in a really nice raw version. I saw a couple versions, but I didn't see anything in particular that I liked. And I'm walking around the show. I had no interest in looking at anything that was already graded. But um, then I come across this Cy Young, uh, Cy Young uh, card. And I might as well just show you guys. So here is the the one card that I picked up at the show, um, this is a beautiful uh, 1909 Piedmont Cigarettes T206 Cy Young. Uh, as you can see, it's a poor one, but, um, and as I was just saying, um, you know, I, for me at least, and it doesn't, maybe this doesn't hold true for everybody, for me it's all about buying the card and not the grade, and this is a perfect example of that. Um, you can see here the back, uh, obviously there's some paper loss. It was probably on a, uh, some sort of book and, and had some tape on it over here. But the front of this card, uh, to me looks like a PSA six and, uh, picking up a card that looks like this would probably cost thousands of dollars if it weren't for the paper loss on the back. Um, this kind of reminds me, um, uh, New York Yanks fan seven. Uh, he has a uh, PSA one and a half of um, Mickey Mantle, or as an SGC, I'm not sure. And uh, it's a Mickey Mantle rookie, and um, that's the exactly the type of card that I go for. If it's if it's a card that normally I wouldn't be able to afford, but because of the circumstances, uh, I'm able to afford it. So I was really really excited to pick it up now. I originally, I looked at it and I go, yeah, yeah that's not really like the, the purpose of what I'm trying to do today. But, um, you know, it was one of those things that I walked away from the, the table and I just was like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, I want that Cy Young card. And, um, and I remember I, I'm standing at this one table a couple of rows ahead and I, I could have sworn a guy was like standing right next to me and maybe this was in my head, but he's like talking he's like, he's like, oh yeah, there's a Cy Young card that I, uh, that I saw, uh, where the, the hand shows and uh, there's some paper loss on the back. Like it was, he described my exact card, and I and I I heard that, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta get, I gotta get the card before somebody else does. <laughs> and uh, I think you guys would be surprised. Um, I know this is a Cy Young from 1909, but it was very very affordable, uh, mainly because of the grade. Um, so. Uh, Again, didn't have any intention of buying a graded card, but um, ended up buying one just because it was so affordable. Um, it's Cy Young. It's a guy that I, I've never owned. I don't own any of the Cy Young cards. Um, and if you, if I have any particular focus in my collecting, it's it's always about um, getting a little bit of everything. You know, I, I just 
that is the only focus that I have is having a little a piece of every uh, part of, of baseball history, I guess you could say. Um, and uh, baseball history is not complete, definitely without uh, Cy Young, who has uh, the most innings pitched, the most games started, the most complete games, which is 749, which... That if there's any record that will never be broken, I, I I have to believe that no one will ever break 749 complete games by Cy Young, not to mention 511 wins, which he holds the record for, uh, and losses, which he has, holds the record for. Um, and uh, Cy Young, I guess uh, I looked it up. Cy is a, a nickname. I guess in one of his tryouts, he was uh, throwing uh, fastballs against the grandstand, and it looked like a cyclone had hit the the fences, which is why uh, they ended up uh, nicknaming him uh, Cy. So uh, anyway, um, just a, a beautiful card. I like I said, I did still submit twenty five cards to PSA, um, but uh, and there's some interesting cards in there, and I, I look forward to sharing. I also submitted. The King Kelly, the authentic King Kelly, just to see if I can get a grade. Um, and uh, this will be, let's see, this is uh, number four, five, this is number six. Uh, number six to my T206 collection. Um, also have this uh, Davy Jones and a Willie Keeler card. So I literally went from having zero T206 cards to now having six T206 cards. And... Uh, absolutely love it. I, I love these T206 cards and I'm going to con probably continue to add to the collection and uh, had a really great time at the uh, the White Plains show. It was a little smaller than previous shows. It was actually in the basement uh, this time, but uh, it was great meeting a couple of YouTubers and uh, look forward to uh, meeting more guys at the shows. I don't know if I'll be at the National uh, it's in Chicago this year. Uh, I'm going to try to make an effort to go, but I can't promise anything. So we'll see if I make it. And if I do, I'll, I'll be sure to uh, try to meet up with uh, with anybody that's going to be there. So if not, uh, you know, maybe the next White Plains show. So anyway, uh, love my new uh, Cy Young card. And uh, just uh, feel free to leave comments. Uh, and uh, great meeting uh any of you guys that I met yesterday, and uh, please feel free to comment, subscribe, talk to you later. Thanks a lot, guys.